Okay, if you watched my videos before, you're probably familiar with this program. And if not, well, this is Paint.net, a photo editing program. And uh, I've used it for many years at this point, and I've seen it change over the years since. I, I, don't, I don't remember exactly when I started, I think it was like 2014, maybe? I, I don't remember. But anyway, at this point, we're at uh, Paint.net 4.3.11, and it looks like this. You can turn on dark mode if you want to. It's a good program, nothing else to say. You can add plugins and stuff as well. And why I'm mentioning this is because we're gonna look back at the oldest version of Paint.net and compare it and see if it's actually usable today. So if we go to the website, check the roadmap, which is like, uh, well, the version history, we can see the current update was released on May 24th. So if we go back, all the way to... Oh my god, this is long. <laughs> I think I started around here, I believe. Uh, that's what I'm guessing, at least. And here's 4.0, and it got released 2014. 4.0 has been out for quite a long time now. Shouldn't 5.0 get released soon? Or at least 4.4? Oh, <laughs> this is old. 2009. Uh, Windows 7. The good old days. Mm, this is... Oh, it's so pretty. Remember the aerial glass uh, thing on Windows? It doesn't look that good these days. The first version of Paint.net got released May 6th, 2004. Jeez, that's a long time ago. Wait, well, hold up, hold up. <laughs> that's the day I created my channel. Except, well, it was in 2016 and not 2004. We're gonna take a look at uh, the oldest version and uh, see if we can, uh, well, do something. Uh, one small issue. I couldn't find the oldest version. The oldest version I could find that still works uh, is uh, Paint.net uh, 2.6 and yes, I've tried it before on a, on a different computer so I know it should work I haven't just installed it on my main computer so let's just try it and I think this will remove my current installation of Paint.net so that's probably a bad thing but uh, I'm gonna do it anyway okay this is quite old Paint.net setup wizard oh wait this was the old logo oh man that looks okay actually it's, it's not that bad but it's also not pretty uh, we'll do a quick install English, uh, next. Yeah, I, I I read through that, yes. Okay, optimizing performance for your system. Do you need to do- oh. Oh. Well, that was easy. <laughs> I guess I have paint.net. So if I search for paint.net. Oh, I sure have it. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is so pretty. Well, actually, it kind of looks cool, but yeah, this is old. This is really old. No plugins, of course. Actually, when the plugins get added, all the way back. Well, I guess I don't have any compatible plugins. Anyway, we can draw. Yeah, that works fine. Control Z works, of course. Tolerance is down here, okay. Line curve. Still works the same even back here. Oh man. Layers does work, okay. Can I make a new pro- Uh, wait. Gonna make a smiley face and I'm gonna create a new project. I do want to save. No. Okay, I don't think it can hold more than one project at a time. Okay, this version is very old, so it makes sense, but I use that feature a lot. Okay, 2006. So this version is from 2006. When I use Paint.net, I, I like to have a lot of projects open at the same time. So for me, it's a big feature. Or am I? Wait, if I do that again. That's what, let's say I want to save it and I'm gonna... Uh, nope, okay, you can only hold one project at a time. I can design a new logo for Paint.net. <laughs> First of all... Make it a 4K image. Uh, I'm gonna make the background blue. Okay, I don't have any presets. Okay, I'm gonna guess that's... Okay, where's the paint bucket tool? Don't tell me there's no paint bucket tool. Oh, there. Paint bucket. Okay, good. I thought for a second uh, you, you didn't have a paint bucket tool. God damn it. Okay. There isn't any color presets, so I have to, like, type it. Time to design a logo. Paint.net logo. Here we have it. Paste it in. Oh my god. You cannot paste in transparency. Really? You see, this is transparent. And if I copy image, it should just copy in regularly, but you don't get the transparency. Okay, that's bad. <laughs> uh, what if I save it first and then drag it in a new layer? Okay, that works at least. Okay. Okay, so I can hold shift and uh, keep uh, the aspect ratio. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna create a new logo. I guess I'll start with the, the rectangle tool. You see, when I change tool, none of this changes. Everything is visible at the same time. Okay. I'm gonna make the paint.net logo. Okay, that's not centered at all, but I'll... <laughs> really? Do I... F okay, I guess, I'm f I guess I first have to use a rectangle select. And now I can use it. Yep. Okay, so Paint.net have, has gotten a lot of quality of life changes throughout the years, which I really appreciate because I, I never even knew this was how it was. <laughs> okay, it's it's a bit too uh, tall, so I'm gonna cut it off around here. 
Yeah, that seems fine. I'm, I'm gonna make a simple version of the logo. I'm not gonna add this much detail. I'm gonna draw it. Uh, <laughs> okay, actually, I'll, I'll go with that. And then I'm gonna connect it and use the paint bucket like that. And then uh, use the magic wand and uh, get this selection. Go to this layer, press Ctrl C and delete the layer. Okay, delete layer. Then make a new layer and then Ctrl V. Haha, it worked. See, my methods still work. Is there a cloud effect? Maybe? Clouds. Oh, yeah. Okay, try it out. Clouds. Oh no. Uh, am I gonna lose my progress? Before that happens, I'm gonna be a big brain and screenshot what I've done. So if I open paint.net again and... Aha, I have my project. <laughs> okay, so now I can just uh, select that. Crop selection. And there we go. Now we can keep working. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess I found a solution. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> paint.net. All right, okay, okay, okay. So I want to try to open uh, one of my projects from modernpaint.net. I'm kind of I'm kind of scared. Yeah, error. God damn it. Okay, I can't even merge the layers. I'm just gonna, you know, <laughs> download paint.net again and uh, yes, continue. No, I don't want Swedish, uh, English. Oh, I'm back. And my plugins as well. Oh, my lovely plugins. <laughs> okay, so now if I open a project Yep, it sure works. I'm back to my sweet paint.net. <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> the icon is still the old one. So that's it for the video. I hope this was interesting to watch. It was kind of, I don't know what you call it, more a uh, chill video where I just mess around with paint.net instead of a more structured video. But anyway, I still hope you liked it. And, uh, and also thanks to Rick Brewster who still keeps updating this program. And I'm very grateful for that because it's my favorite editing program. I don't want to replace it. I don't have anything else to say. So thanks so much for watching and bye.